Greetings and welcome to this lesson on dosage calculations. So before we talk about dosage calculations, let's review some of the basics so you understand uh, how these uh, calculations work and what you're actually doing, right? Okay, so you all know that five equals five. That's pretty basic. You also know that one gram equals a thousand milligram, right? So what do we? What happens if we take five divided by five equals one, of course? So we can do the exact same thing with this equation. We can divide one gram by a thousand milligram, right? Anything divided by itself is one. Now, we can take this 5 and put it on top, or we can take that 5 and put it on top. It doesn't make any difference. So we can do the same thing with this equation. We can also put a 1,000 milligram on top and 1 gram on the bottom, and that will equal 1. Okay. So just a real simple um, uh, conversion within the metric system of converting 5 grams into milligrams. Okay, so we're always going to write down the units of our answer and the given, and then we insert the ratio. So in this case, we need milligrams on top and grams on the bottom so that we end up with the milligrams of our answer and we get rid of the grams uh, that we started with. So 5 times 1,000 divided by 1, a little bit more room there is 5,000 milligram. Okay, pretty simple. Now let's do a dosage calculation. Okay, so in this case we'll do something simple. Uh, the doctor prescribed 500 milligram and we want to know how many mLs to dispense. And the ratio in this case is the strength of the drug, which we'll say is 250 milligram per 5 mLs, say some amoxicillin. So just like with the gram and the milligram, we can flip that, those, um, that ratio upside down. We can also do the same thing over here. That's the same as 5 mLs over 250 milligram. Because these are the same thing, right? 250 milligram is the same as 5 mLs of that solution. So on this case, we need to change milligram into mL, right? So we're going to pick this ratio because it has the mL on top and the milligram on the bottom. We have to cancel out those other milligrams. So we we'll just put 5 mL, 250 milligram. All right. So you take out your calculator, and all you do is you put in 500 times 5 divided by 250, and that gives us our 10 mLs of our answer. Okay, so of course this is a real simple um, example, but if you learn how to set these things up with the easy ones, then you can do the tougher ones. Um, uh, later on. Now, there's two ways of doing these calculations. This way is called dimensional analysis. You're basically multiplying the given times a form of one to change the dimensions or the units into what you want to end up with. Okay, I, I prefer this method. There's another method called ratio proportion. Let's do the problem using the ratio proportion method. So the ratio proportion method, basically you set up two ratios that are equal. Okay, if two ratios are equal, that means they're proportional. Okay, so we're going to have a ratio containing the unknown, which would be x ml. 
over 500 milligram. And now we're going to compare that to the known ratio, which remember was 250 milligram per 5 ml. So when we use this method, we have to have the same units all the way around, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so we know that there were 5 mLs per 250 milligram, right? So now we have a little simple algebraic problem to solve for x. Um, the long way of doing it is to isolate x, we multiply both sides by 500 milligram. Okay, so that all cancels out. And now we're basically back to step one of the dimensional analysis. Milligrams cancel out. We have 5 times 500 divided by 250. And so x equals 10 ml. Now the shortcut on this is you cross multiply. So 500 milligram times 5 mLs equals x mLs times 250 milligram. So the shortcut, you would multiply 500 times 5 and divide by 250, and that would give us our 10 mL. Um, whichever way you feel uh, comfortable, uh, go ahead and use that method. With dimensional analysis, that's really a much more powerful method because you can do more complex problems all in one step. Using the ratio proportion method, you have to break the problem up if you have several steps into multiple steps and do multiple problems. And we'll do something a little bit more complicated in a bit um, to show you the difference uh, in the ratio proportion and dimensional analysis. Okay, so I promised you something a little bit more complicated, so here it is. Uh, on this one, this calculation, the patient weighs 180 pounds. He's going to be dosed at 25 milligram per kilogram per day. And that's going to be divided into four equal doses. The drug is available as 100 milligram per ml. And we want to know how many mLs per dose. Okay, so just like the simpler problems, this problem is set the same way. We want to write down the units of the answer first. That's our target. Now the given on this problem is the patient's weight. They're basically saying, here's a man that weighs 180 pounds. Tell me how many mLs per dose. Okay, so we can write that down. Now, there's always ratios. There's always going to be a ratio in every problem you're going to do in uh, these dose sheets calculations. So let's write down all the ratios. So we're going to need an off-the-shelf ratio of pounds to kilograms. So we know that there's one kilogram per 2.2 pounds, right? Uh, the dose is 25 milligram per kilogram per day. So that's 25 milligram for each of his kilograms per day. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like these ratios that have two divisor lines in them. So let me show you how we can simplify this. We can multiply top and bottom by one over day. So the bottom all cancels out. That goes to 1. So we can just erase that part. Now we have 25 milligram times 1 over kilogram times day. Or we can just simplify that as 25 milligram over kilogram times day. OK, so now this is a lot easier to work with than that. So we're going to be using this instead of that. Um, we're also Another uh, ratio is. 100 milligram per ml, 
And then we're also going to be using uh, four doses per day. So these are the tools we're going to use to change pounds into mLs per dose. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we have uh, one kilogram per 2.2 pounds. That one's gone. Now we'll put in this guy here, right? 25 milligram over kilogram times day. If we stopped right now, we would have milligrams per day, but we need mLs per dose. So let's change milligram into um, mL. So we're going to use this ratio up here. We need mL on top. So we have 1 mL over 100 milligrams. We stopped right now, we'd have mLs per day, but we need mLs per dose. So we're getting pretty close. Need a little bit more room there. So now we're going to change, we have to change day into dose. So we're going to use this one down here, but we have to flip it upside down. So we cancel out day. So it's one day for four dose. Okay, so day cancels, and now we have mLs per dose, mLs per dose. So once it's all set up, then we can take out the calculator and plug everything in. So the 180 divided by 2.2 times 25 divided by 100 divided by 4, so that's about 5.1, 5.1 mLs per dose. So I know this seems a little complicated, but um, if you learn the basics, you know, starting with just how to convert grams to milligrams, when you get to these harder problems, they all work the same way, and with a little bit of practice, you can do something this complicated uh, pretty simply. Now, the other way is using ratio proportion. We have to change 180 pounds into kilograms. Okay, so we've got x kilogram over 180 pounds that equals 1 kilogram over 2.2 pounds, right? So x kilogram, we've got 180 times 1 divided by 2.2. So he weighs 81.8 kilogram. That's one day. Now we have to figure out how many milligram he's going to get per day. So we're going to set up another problem. So we're going to have x milligram per 81.8 kilogram. And that's per day, so we're just going to make a little memo note that whatever we get is how many milligrams per day. And the known ratio is 25 milligram per kilogram you know, per day. So solving for x here, we get 81.8 times 25. And that will give us... 2,045 milligrams per day, right? And now we have to figure out how many milligrams per dose. So he's getting four doses per day, so we can just divide that by four, and that's going to give us 511.3 uh, uh, milligrams per dose. Right. And then we have to change milligrams into mLs per dose. So we have x mL over, we'll say 511 milligram equals 
the known ratio, which is 1 ml over 100 milligram. So solve it for x. You get 511 times 1 divided by 100. So x ml will equal to 5.1 um, ml. The trouble with this system, in my opinion, is that if you make a mistake early on, you have no idea that you made the mistake when you finish up. Okay. With the um, dimensional analysis, you set the whole problem up at one time, you cancel out all the units, and then you make sure that everything is set up correctly before you do any calculations. So we ended up with the same uh, answer, um, but we had to do quite a bit more, uh, quite a few more uh, calculations. And once again, if you're more comfortable using the ratio proportion, by all means use it, but uh, just be very careful that you set everything up correctly and um, don't make any mistakes.